Hello, I'm Pastor Len Smith, Interim Pastor here at Shepherd's Heart Fellowship. This is an opportunity again to share some holy humor. These tidbits of holy humor have been received by me over the years as emails from different parishioners in, in different places where I have ministered. And I hope that these will bring a little humor to your day as well. The first one starts like this. A little girl was sitting on her grandfather's lap as he read her a bedtime story. From time to time, she would take her eyes off the book and reach up and touch his wrinkled cheek. She was alternately stroking her own cheek, then his again. Finally, she spoke up. Grandpa, did God make you? Yes, sweetheart, he answered. God made me a long time ago. Oh, she paused. Grandpa, did God make me too? Yes, indeed, honey, he said. God made you just a little while ago. Feeling their respective faces again, she observed. God's getting better at it, isn't he? There's a story of a person who got up one Sunday and announced to his congregation, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we have enough money to pay for our new building program. The bad news is it's still out there in your pockets. A Sunday school teacher began her lesson with a question. Boys and girls, what do we know about God? A hand instantly shot up in the air. He's an artist, said the kindergarten boy. The teacher asked, really, how do you know? You know, our father who does art in heaven. A minister waited in line to have his car filled with gas just before a long holiday weekend. The attendant worked quickly, and there were many cars ahead of him in front of the service station. Of course, this was back in the days that you didn't have self-service. Finally, the attendant motioned him forward to a vacant pump. Reverend, said the young man, sorry about this delay. It seems as if everyone waits until the last minute to get ready for a long trip. The minister chuckled. I know what you mean. It's the same in my business. People want the front of the bus, back of the church, and center of attention. Somebody once figured we have 35 million laws trying to enforce 10 commandments. Somebody has well said there are only two kinds of people in the world. Those who wake up in the morning and say, good morning, Lord. And there are those who wake up in the morning and say, good Lord, it's morning. A minister parked his car in a no-parking zone in a large city. Because he was short of time, he couldn't find a space with a meter. So he put a note under the windshield wiper that read, I have circled the block ten times. If I don't park here, I'll miss my appointment. Forgive us our trespasses. When he returned, he found a citation from a police officer along with this note. I've circled the block for ten years. If I don't give you a ticket, I'll lose my job. Lead us not into temptation. Thank you for listening to this Holy Humor today. And again, we invite you uh, every Sunday to attend one of our life application classes offered for all ages here at Shepherd's Heart Fellowship and also to attend our blended worship service at 10 a.m. Thank you for listening. Have a great day and blessings upon each one of you.